welcome back to another video. My name is Thomas Gelder. So in today's video, we're going to be learning how to do that effect that I've just shown you. It's so easily done, it's changing your eye colour to whatever colour you want it to be. It can be black, purple, blue, green, yellow and white. Okay. And it's a really straightforward effect. Less of the talking, more to the action. I'm going to jump straight into the editing suite and show you how it's done. So once you're in the editing suite, make sure you get your clip. Cut each part that you're blinking. So obviously that's the parts that you're going to be changing the colours. What you're going to do is duplicate the clips three times. Now on the top layer, what you want to do is go on opacity. Go on the circle mask and mask out the black pupil in your eye. And go on track key. Make sure you key it. And what you're going to do then is track it forward. Now Premiere Pro seems to do a pretty good job of this, especially when it's only small of movements. Now once this is done, make sure you go back on the mask and see if it's done it correctly. And once it has done, make sure you go to the start of the clip before you open your eye and bring the opacity down to zero. Make sure you key that, bring it forward a frame to when you open your eye and put it to 100%. This is so it just gets rid of the mask until when it's needed. And then you go to the end of the clip, make sure that the mask is following the pupil when the eye is shutting. So if the eye shut halfway, just adjust it till it's halfway until the eye is fully shut. Bring it back to where the eye is open, key it, and then bring it to when the eye is shut and just mask it down to 0%. This just gets rid of any weird effects. So what you're going to do in the middle clip is the exact same thing, but with the colour part of your eye. So what you're going to do is do the exact same process get the circle mask and mask around it. Now this you might have to adjust a little bit and add a few extra keys. This is just because your eye is not perfectly circle. Just adjust that until you're satisfied. Make sure it's at the start of the clip. Click on the track mask key. Do the same process and let Premiere Pro do the auto tracking. Once this is done, look back on your clip, see if it's done a good job. If it hasn't, then adjust a few stuff. If it has, then leave it as it is. Make sure you go to the first of the clip before your eye opens. Bring the opacity down to zero, and then when your eye does open, bring it to 100. Make sure that your keying doesn't need adjusting from when your eye's opening. So you might have to adjust your key if your eye's only open halfway. And then go to the end of the clip and do the exact same thing. Just before the eye's shutting, key it so it's on 100 opacity. And then when the eye's shut, bring it down to zero. Again with the keying, if the eye's halfway shut, make sure you're adjusting the last key so it fits where the colour of the eye part is. So then what you're going to do then is go into colour correction, go on channel mixer, or you can do it any other way, it depends how you want to do it, but I use channel mixer. And then from here, you're just going to bring up whichever colour you want. So I'm going to bring up the red. And as you can see, it's a bit too much at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feather the middle clip up a little bit, and I'm going to bring the mask expansion down to about minus five to minus 10, whatever fits appropriate. This just makes it feel more realistic and it just takes away the perfect circle that the ears around the eye. And that's the effect done. It's, it's a simple one, but it's a very cool effect. A lot of people have actually been messaging me how I've done this, and that's basically it. It's pretty simple, no after effects, all done within Premiere Pro. And if you want to turn your eye white, or if you want to turn your eye black or whatever it's the same process all you got to do is just toggle the channel mixer and mess around with the colors to whatever color fits best i hope you enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys next time